Hello everyone and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. So we're gonna pick up exactly where we left off last time. Uh it looks so uh we ran into some trouble being able to build our good friend the reinforced windmill. Or reinforced flex mill or whatever it was. Uh we needed to make some signalum, which is silver, copper. And molten redstone. Now the problem is that this thing doesn't get hot enough to melt redstone. And I'm not sure if building it bigger or adding more tanks for lava is going to do that. But I do know what will get it solved without us having to build... Without us having to do a whole ton of manual labor to increase or modify this thing. And that is the magma crucible we talked about last time. So to get a magma crucible, we're gonna need nether brick. To get nether brick, we're gonna need a portal to the nether. So that's something we can work on today. Oop. So let's get started on that. While these, while the obsidian is getting made, because apparently I forgot to do that between episodes. Uh, while the obsidian is getting made, we'll build the other parts of the machine. Such as the machine casing and all that fun stuff. So what are we going to need? We're going to need a leadstone energy cell frame. So we're going to need four lead. We're going to need a block of redstone. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. One. And we're going to need four glass. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So let's go here, let's go here, and let's go here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to need a redstone reception coil, so we're going to need golden redstone. Simple. Easy peasy. Gold. And I forgot to put more cobblestone in there. Whoops. One, two, three, four. There we go. And there we go, three three obsidian. I should have probably done that off camera. But oh well. Uh, what else are we going to need? We have a hardened machine frame. That's for the windmill, right. Uh, we're going to need two, 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 redstone. That's why I'm here. One, two. There we go. Perfecto mundo. We're going to need the invar gears. So we might as well get that smelted up now. Uh, let's see here, two, four, one, two, should be enough, right? Should make, what, 12, I think? Uh, iron and silver doesn't do anything, iron copper doesn't do anything, so we should be good. I don't think nickel does anything with either either, so, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, so what we're going to need here, we're going to need a crafting table, first off, there we go. Reception coil. Oop. Now we're also going to need the actual. Uh, oop. The machine casing. So we're going to need to make a. Uh, let's see here. Gear cast is already in there. Perfect. Come on, iron. There we go. 12 invar. Perfect. Uh, so, we're also going to need do, 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 the tin gear, and I have stuff in there already. I have copper in there, and I don't really want to mix any bronze, so I'm just going to waste an iron and get here. Uh, okay, apparently that's not how that's made. Tin gear. Copper, of course. Uh, we should have tons of copper, right? Yeah, we do. So I don't really mind. And we're we're gonna have a means to make unlimited amounts of everything, right? So uh, a little copper ingot here and there isn't really too much of a problem. Do, 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 do. I'm also gonna need I'm gonna need that piece of iron anyway, along with three of its friends. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Machine casing. And we're going to have our second gear. 
Boop. This is perfect. So that's going. This is going. One, two, three, four. That's about as much as I can fit in there, actually. I'm gonna take this out, put it in here, put this in here. Let's just fill this up with water while we can. And one more. All right. And yeah, so that's gonna be that. Uh, the hard influx stuck. We're gonna need one of these just broken out the side here. Uh, magma crucibles. What do I usually pair them with? Fluid transposers. That's right. Uh, I can put the magma crucible on the bottom. That's fine. Alrighty. Uh, while we're waiting on that, let's take a look at the good old quest blog here. And we should be able to make our good friend the potion thing. Didn't I put some obsidian somewhere? I have nine obsidian here. Uh, hold on a second. Potion generator. Uh, haha. Uh, okay, well, I have two options here. I could get us another portal right here now and make the potion generator later, or I could do the opposite. And seeing how this Magma Crucible is probably the harder of the two to get, I think we can all assume which one I'm going to do first. So, sorry, Potion Generator. I'm also going to top this up more. Perfect. Alrighty, uh, so we're going to build ourselves another portal. Where are we going to build it? That is a very, very good question. Well, I'm pretty partial to, like, right here, actually. So let's do that, shall we? 1.7. Can I make... I can make another portals in any, any dimension I want, can't I? Uh, that might be 1.8. Let's not risk it. I only have... I only want to use... I want to use as little as possible anyway, so we're just going to build the 2x2. Two two. Uh, boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Let's build that... Let's build that over here. Why not? Create a platform here. And let's just go. And then three up, right? And then theoretically, I should be able to what? Right, like, nope. Oh, no. I just realized I don't have a pick to deal with this. Oh, fudge. Well, there's gonna be a piece of obsidian just there for fudge. Damn it. <laughs> well, screw it. Okay, so something is occupying this space. So let's get rid of you, you. It was you! Uh, let's go up top, like so. There we go. And now I just have to take really this bar out of the play out of the play, right? Like that. Oh man, this thing is gonna be stuck here for like Yeah, I know. Harvest level silver. Oh well. So this is a thing. Uh let's see, I'm just gonna put these away. I guess. Uh, do I not have a junk chest? I guess I'll just put them here for now. Alrighty, uh, so we have this unfortunate incident here that used up way more obsidian than it needed to. So let's take care of this. We'll get more obsidian sooner than later, so it's not a big problem. Uh, now what we need is a flint and steel, right? So let's grab this uh, other way around. Or no, that works, I guess, apparently. Oop. 
Okay, this I guess I should take with me. Worst case scenario. Uh, let's go through. So I've been to the Nether in Agrarian Skies before. It's typically the same la layout regardless of the map. Yes, it is in fact the same layout. So we're not going to want to collect any ores here until we have Silk Touch. Well, I'm not on Peaceful, am I? No, I'm on Hard. Okay, all, all is good. Uh, so we don't collect any ores until we have Silk Touch, otherwise the ores explode. Literally. On another hand, we also want to be careful for Hellfish. Okay, so let's see, how many of these things do I need for the... Let's see, Magma... That is not Magma, that is Mamma. Uh, Nether Bricks is one thing for one of these so I need eight of these so I need eight Boop. that's everything we need probably the most uneventful nether trip you'll ever see ever of all time that's not how that joke goes I don't think that was the worst throw ever of all time well I guess it kinda works doesn't work well, but it works. Uh, let's see, eight, there we go, perfect. So we'll let that smelt up and I will continue to mourn the loss of the obsidian due to my terrible, terrible, terrible decisions. <laughs> uh, I guess we can pop everything we need into the crafting table though. So let's go like so, uh, like this, and that's that, okay. It's a very simple design. I like it. Uh, I like how the machines are made. They're all there's a pretty uniform process to making them, which is super handy. Uh, the machine casing always goes in the middle. There's usually a, a coil at the bottom, gears on each side, and then the different stuff are only the stuff in this triangle formation here. Mine Factory Reloaded is pretty much the same. A lot of a lot of machine mods seem to function on a similar principle, which is pretty cool. Uh, it makes memorizing recipes a lot easier. Although I've never really had that problem, I can't say. Uh, so let's go like that. And let's go like this. Okay, we have ourselves our magma crucible. Boom. Okay, so this thing... Oh, we also need the fluid transposer. <sighs> One thing after another, right guys? Fluid. Uh, where is it? There it is. So we're going to need machine casing, we're going to need copper gears, we're going to need another coil, and we're going to need another bucket. So let's do that. We're going to need iron ingots out the wazoo, so may as well just get them. We're going to need four for the casing. We're going to need three for the bucket. We're going to need one gold. We're going to need... Four of you, we're gonna need one, two, three, four for the gears, one for that gear, because I don't want to deal with the smeltery to be honest. Let's get rid of this rain. Don't get, don't get me wrong, the rain is nice in this, but it's pretty much obsolete at this point. Alrighty, so we have that. Fluid transposer, what next? We need glass, and that's it. Okay, perfect. We have everything we need but the glass. So let's pump this in. Everything we need on us but the glass is what I meant. Uh, and the redstone. Of course, I forgot something. It wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something. Doot doot. Uh, okay, let's keep the inventory clean so I can keep doing this. Oop. Uh, one, two, three, four. That is not how that is done. That is how that is done. 
machine casing, perfect. I'm also gonna need that crafting area still clear. Bucket, bucket, casing, thing, glass, and then gears. All right, copper at the bottom. Uh, let's see here, you are done with that. Should have enough in here for another one. So we need nine more obsidian. I could probably also upgrade my pick so I can get that piece that's just sitting there waiting for me. And that's good. And we still have enough for the signal. Yep. Calculations were not off. Uh, we have four invar in there. I could probably pour that out. I'll get to that eventually. And we have ourselves the fluid transposer. Okay, now we need power for it. Did I already put the flux duct down? No, I didn't. So here we are. Boop. Boop. So the magma crucible and fluid transposer typically work together very well. So that's why I'm putting them like they are now. And that is that. Okay. So now we need a thousand units of redstone. So I'm going to take one of these, which is nine, uh, 900. And one of these, which is 100. Should have put the small one in first. Just so I could go do other stuff and not have to worry about, you know what I mean. Okay, how's this going? We're almost to another thing. Can I put another? Yes, I can. I'm just going to keep the bucket in my hotbar for now. Alright, uh, that is done. Uh, actually, I'm going to need the bucket here. Boop. Okay, now theoretically what I have to do is I have to put this here to take you off of here. I need a fluiduct. Yep. Uh, crescent hammer. I have one, right? Yeah. No, no. Uh, and then I need a servo. I'm going to put you to ignore. That should work. Right? No? Uh, I was pretty much under the impression that that was supposed to work. Yeah, why isn't that working? Maybe enable, do I have to make a leather, lever? Not a leather, but a lever. Okay, this used to work. Uh, okay. Let's try something different. Let's try pouring this in the thing. I don't know. No, huh? That's not going to help anybody. Uh, does putting you in here empty you out? No. See, the last time I did this was in 1.6, and the fluid duct worked. So, let's see here. I put you like that. Uh, let's see. Retriever? Oh, 
Oh, come on. Somebody do something? Alright, uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna try to figure this out, and hopefully I succeed somehow. At some point. So, I'll be back in a bit. See you then. Alright, and I'm back. So, I couldn't find any way to get into the smeltery, but that's fine. I do have another option of how to make the signal. All I have to do is get pulverized copper and pulverized silver. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drain the silver from here because we are pretty much dead on silver. So I need to use every bit I have. So silver. Get on out. Uh, let's just pulverize you, I guess. Boop. Pulverize silver. And we'll do the same with the copper. One. I'm going to go sleep. Oh, that was a huge shame. I also noticed we're pretty much at time, so I'm probably going to let this either run a bit long, or in editing I'm going to find out if there's anything I can cut that I really didn't need to have. I'm sure there is something. I was pretty unprepared. I pretty uh well you know what I'm trying to say I was a little scatterbrained at the beginning of the episode and apparently still alrighty so that'll be the copper I'm gonna go put some more cobble in here because I can probably have more yep one two three four perfect we'll have that obsidian back in no time uh there we go to a crafting table. Alrighty, so the destabilized redstone like so. And like that gives us our signal and blend. Now all we have to do is smelt this up. If I remember correctly, three should be enough to smelt four. I'll just put four in just in case. I should really make a redstone furnace. That'll probably be the next thing. I make. But man, these things. The more machines I make, the more of a power, or the more of a problem power becomes. Uh, so I'm gonna need to make a signal and gear, which I just realized is probably not made in a crafting bench. So I probably just could have melted this stuff. Yep, totally could have just done that. As a matter of fact, I'll have to do that anyway. So that was a waste of wood, which I guess could be worse. Uh, I'm gonna start pulling out, the, pouring out this invar as well. Uh, I'm gonna put that charcoal back. Uh, where did all my cobble? There it is. Okay, we have our we have our bucket free again. So let's get back on track with the lava. Uh, you can stay in my inventory. That's good. And then we'll take you and you. And you. And you. Perfect. Okay. Signalum is now melted, so let's get the last of this invar out. Swap casts. And did I put it at the bottom? I don't think I did because the invar. There we go. And we have ourselves our signal and gear. Finally. Alrighty, so you. And like so, we have our reinforced machine frame casing. And let's go back to wind. Wind. That is not wind. This is wind. Uh, reinforced. So, let's see. We need two silver, we need three silver, and we need a piece of redstone. That's all we need now. So, actually, we need three redstone. Oh my god, we need three silver? Oh no. 
Please tell me I have like. Uh. Oh well. Ruins my organization, but I need to get this done. Ugh. Such pain. And this is probably not even going to solve our power problem. This is probably going to do nothing for us based on what that other one's doing. Ugh. But we will get a quest done, and this quest will give us what again? Flux Electrum and a reward bag. Okay, so it's not going to help us at all. Unless that reward bag turns out to be like a everything we need to make the biggest big reactor possible. <laughs> Bad chance on that, though. Uh, I'm going to put one of these silver away because that other one's going to produce two. I'm going to put this Invar away. Because, man, we have a lot of Invar. Going to need to swap out casts. Ugh. In the next episode, we'll be doing the potion generator. Absolutely. I will make sure the obsidian is taken care of by then. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, we'll look into the quest book and see what else after I'm done here. Okay. We have our windmill. Now, let's get up here. Okay. There we go. And apparently I need to log out and back in for these things to boot up. So I'll be right back. Still not working. Maybe it's not windy today. Uh. Okay, so Oh, why did I put it over damn it? Uh I'll fix that position later, but it's up and running now, so we have that. Uh it's only generating what point six of an RF per tick? So that's absolutely terrible. That doesn't help us in the least. Oh well. We got the quest done. Let's get the quest done. Power grid. Claim reward. And that gave us monster jerky. Of course, something completely useless. Well, we can put that in our culinary generator, I guess. Once the seed soup is done. Useless foods can just go in there, I guess. Kind of nice. Uh, flux Electrum, I'm sure we can do plenty with uh, down the road. But for now, it's just going to sit in this chest all nice and pretty. And yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I noticed it said another quest was done. I think it would be for going to the nether. Let's see here. Yeah. So, one glowstone as a, as a reward. Awesome. Fantastic. 
Alrighty, so what else? Uh, actually, we are at time for today. Uh, definitely at time for today. So that's going to be it. We managed to get this windmill going, uh, which, you know, is a thing that's happening. Yeah, totally a thing that's happening. Terrible, terrible thing that's happening, but a thing that's happening nonetheless. Oh my god. So bad. Alright, uh, so that'll be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching all that fun stuff. The next one, we'll have our potion generator going. We'll look into getting the peat fired engine up and running, maybe. Just so we can get the further into this quest stuff. Uh, we'll probably explore this, which I assume is upgrading our culinary generator, I hope. And then we'll probably get into assembly line, and what else? Uh, I'm probably gonna want to explore either storage wars, or get ourselves started on this quest branch isn't unlocked yet. Uh, let's see, Sky Farm, maybe, I don't think so. No, we'll, we'll probably definitely continue into Power Grid, check out some assembly line, and then I'll probably start up on my own project. Uh, we'll probably try to get ourselves a automated farm going so I can get some dirt production going. That should be very helpful. Uh, but for now, that'll be that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching all that fun stuff, as I've already said. And, uh, yeah. Bye for now. The next video up today is going to be the 100th video, so, uh, if you want to check that out, feel free. I still don't know what I'm doing for it. I'm recording this on I'm recording this on Monday. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, stay tuned for that. 100th video going up tomorrow or later today by the time you're watching this. Uh and then yeah. Okay. Anyway, bye for now. For real this time.